All right, so we're inside, we're ready to tile. Bella, get out of here. Um, I have run down some measurements, I measured everything out. So it'll be even over here, as it will over there in the far corner. I know, I see it. I have a little template made to follow the cabinet line, and my depth is right. There was three quarter inch sub floor, and then thin set, and then hardy, and hardy screws. So it's a pretty solid floor, and it comes out just right. So now that I have everything measured out, I'm going to mix up some thin set and get started moving that way. I'm only going to do half the floor at a time because I need to move all the appliances over to one side while I do the other side because the fridge doesn't really fit out the doorway and I don't feel like taking the fridge apart. So that's the idea. Let's get started and mix up some thin set and uh, we'll see how it looks.
All right, so it's finally time to grout. Everything has been prepped. Uh, I scraped all the grout lines, cleaned the tile. Just, uh, if you're doing this by yourself, make sure you do the prep work. Uh, I didn't film it because it's just me scrubbing the floor and it was pretty boring. So um, I used a razor knife works pretty well and um, like a grout brush. I also used a drill brush in some of the harder areas. So let's mix up some grout and uh, see what it looks like. So we're inside, starting over in that corner. Grout does come off of things, but it's easier to just tape around things you don't want covered anyways. And everything's cleaned, prepped, ready to go. I think the hardest part of tiling is really just the prep and the time it takes. It's really not that complicated. Let's get started grouting. All right, so I got my grout ready. It's sanded grout, charcoal gray, and I opted in for this guy right here. It's stain blocker or grout sealer that you mix in. It's like 20 bucks or something like that. And this is going in a kitchen, so things will get spilled and I don't want to have to seal it afterwards. So I thought I'd give this a try. And of course my rubber float. And then you'll need two buckets. Both clean, one for water, one for grout. Going in a 45 degree angle, that's what's recommended. So let's mix up some grout.
So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in and don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share button for me. A couple of the tips I do have was uh, I followed the instructions on the bottle for that grout sealer and it came out way too thick. So one of the regrets I have is not mixing it up uh, with a little bit more water in it. So that should be a tip to help you guys out and I hope you guys enjoy the video.